Trees are beautiful, majestic, and borderline poetic. They give children something to climb. And there's a fruit, and Christopher actually has a fruit here if you want to come closer. Birds somewhere to live and provide all of us with precious, precious oxygen. But did you know there are some trees that are 10,000% not our friends? Did you know that there are some trees that are so dangerous you shouldn't even go near them, not alone touch them? These are the most dangerous trees you should never touch. Number 15. Sandbox Tree Usually, the word sandbox means freedom, creativity, and just general fun. It's the kind of word that excites most people with its endless possibilities. However, in this case, you better just forget all that. This tree will kill you. There's a reason it's also called the monkey no climb. Hint. We're the monkeys. The sandbox tree is native to tropical regions over the Americas, but has also been found in Tanzania, making this an international killer. Usually, the sandbox tree is recognized by its smooth bark covered with dark, pointed spikes. It's because of these fierce little points that the tree came to be known as the monkey no climb, which in my opinion is about the greatest name for a tree ever. But it's not just the spiky bark that makes this tree so dangerous. They're also ticking time bombs thanks to their exploding fruit. That's not an exaggeration. When the tree's fruit reaches its peak ripeness, the capsule explodes, catapulting its seed anywhere up to 330 feet away. That's why this tree is also known as the dynamite tree. Yeah, it has many names. This is a tree that could be described as nature's warning. If those flying seeds don't get you, those sharp, pointed spikes almost definitely will probably best to just get a potted plant. Like this video, smash the subscribe button, and click the notification bell right now, or Slenderman will come from under your bed when you're sleeping. Now it's time for the juicy topic. Allow us to introduce you to shipworm trees. We wish these things were resigned to the realm of fiction, perhaps a creation of Guillermo del Toro or Sam Raimi. But sadly, they are real. Shipworm trees are trees that are packed to the rafters with shipworms, one of Earth's most horrifying and gruesome creatures. Technically not actual worms, shipworms are saltwater clams that bore into underwater trees, leading to them being nicknamed termites of the sea. If you ever see a tree or piece of wood that's underwater, we highly recommend you do not touch it, or else these horrible clams may wriggle off the wood and burrow into your arms instead. Grim. Comment down below with the hashtag JuicyTopic, and let us know your opinion in relation to what we just showed on screen. With that said, let's keep things moving. Number 14. Manchineel Tree The Manchineel Tree is a lot like Fight Club. There are some essential rules you must follow. Do not eat the fruit, do not touch the trunk or branches, do not stand underneath or near the tree for any reason whatsoever, do not touch your eyes if near the tree, do not touch the leaves. Basically, the lesson here is that if you see this tree in the wild, get on a plane and go elsewhere. The manchineel tree is one of the most toxic trees found anywhere in the world, with every single part of the tree containing a milky white sap that is, to put it lightly, dangerous. This sap has been recorded and there's a fruit and Christopher actually has a fruit here if you want to come closer as stripping paint from cars, and even standing beneath the tree during a rainstorm is a hazardous combination. Once the water mixes with the sap, it can cause severe blistering of the skin, even in the mildest of contact, and even potentially devastating corneal defects in more severe cases. And all of that is before we've gotten to the tree's fruit. Eating the fruit has been noted to cause severe gastroenteritis, with symptoms like bleeding, bacterial superinfection, and potential airway complications. So, not something you want to cook with. The manchineel tree is so dangerous that it's quite literally poisonous to be anywhere near it. I think we all know someone like that, don't we? Number 13. Suicide Tree with a lovely, sunny name like that, it's difficult to imagine how it could possibly be on a list like this. 
However, the Cerbera odalam or suicide tree has killed many people in India, almost all of them by accident. In fact, the circumstances of death were so convenient that some have called this tree the perfect murder weapon. How interesting. While the tree itself is not inherently poisonous, the seeds within its fruit most definitely are. Throughout history, many humans have dared to taste the Cerbera odalam's fruit, which is actually edible unaware that the seeds contain a significantly high dose of a toxic chemical known as cerberin. Cerberin, as an element, has the power to slow your heart rate right down, which may explain why you don't want to be taking it in excessive doses. And a Cerbera odalam seed is most definitely an excessive dose. While the seed won't kill you right away, it will surely give you a whole bunch of painful side effects for a few hours until… bye bye life. It's for all those reasons that many have cited the Cerebera odalam seed as the perfect murder weapon, owing to the seemingly invisibility of it at all. I trust that whoever first said it is being investigated. Number 12. Coconut Tree it's a staple of children's cartoons, but actually, the coconut tree is a perilous force of nature in real life. While Bugs Bunny and friends may get a little bump on the head and move on, a great many humans have been hospitalized, all because of a falling coconut. Very careful, because it's a really very heavy product. While there, shockingly, is not a whole lot of reported incidents, we know that around 150 people a year die from coconut-induced trauma. Which I know sounds like a joke, but we're being very serious. While we tend to think of coconuts as weird, weightless, and cartoony weapons, a single coconut can weigh up to 2 kilos because of the water inside. So as a coconut drops to the ground, that weight can reach a speed of up to 53 miles per hour, and landing with a force equivalent in weight to a ton. You can see why so many people die. The reason behind the death varies, with some countries putting in place public health campaigns to prevent people from climbing the trees. However, most of the deaths are caused by people taking a nap beneath the tree, only to never wake up again. A lifelong siesta. Number 11. Strichnin Tree the Strichnin tree has a rare advantage in the dangerous stakes, as this is a tree that not only sounds dangerous in its most common name, but also just about every other. Known as the Strichnos nuxvamica, the poison nut, and the semen Strichnos, we're not even going to joke about that, the name alone makes you want to avoid it at all cost. The Strichnin tree is native to India and contains most of its poison within its seeds. These hairy, round, coin-like seeds contain around 1.5% Strichnin, a chemical mostly used in baits designed to kill feral animals like wild dogs, rats, or foxes. Not necessarily something to eat for brunch then. However, the poison is not just contained to the seeds, as the tree's bark is also known to contain some poisonous compounds that can cause serious bodily harm if touched. The irony, of course, is that most of the deaths caused by this tree had no contact whatsoever. The victims just breathed around the tree. So try not to breathe around trees from this point on. For reasons we don't fully understand, Asian herbalists claim that the Strichnin tree has incredible life-giving qualities that can help cure a wide array of illnesses, including cancer and heart disease. Obviously, most professional doctors have disputed this, since the seeds are, well, poisonous? Number 10. Bunya Pine You can't look at a tree like this and say you're not impressed, right? The Bunya Pine is easily one of the most beautiful trees on the planet, measuring anywhere between 20 and 50 meters tall. But if you want to appreciate them and live to tell the tale, you should probably enjoy it between 20 and 50 meters away also. The bunya pine is notorious for its almost weapon-like existence. With its leaves covered in rigid and sharply pointed spikes, many children have chased their siblings or friends with the deadly branch only to end up hurting themselves. In fact, even professionals try and avoid going near the tree, at least without protective clothing. 
But while all of that is dangerous enough, the Bunya Pine has its own threatening way to fight, well, pretty much anybody. Between December and March, the Bunya Pine develops some massive cones that can weigh well up to 10 kilograms. Eventually, those pines fall off the branches and drop some 50 feet to the floor. I think you know where that's going. Many professionals advise that the public try and avoid going anywhere near the Bunya Pine due to the unpredictability of the cones and the frankly dangerous leaves. And if you're going to go chasing your siblings with a branch, prepare for some injuries. Number 9. Milky Mangrove Yes, Milky Mangrove may sound like a quirky character in some bizarre children's cartoon, but it's also the name of one of the world's most toxic trees. Seriously, this is one of the few trees where humans should basically never even look at it. The Milky Mangrove tree is native to the continent of Asia and gets its name from its unusual milky toxic ooze. When any part of the tree is damaged, whether by scratching, poking, or snapping, it releases a white milky sap containing a whole bunch of toxic chemicals that will cause some real damage to anybody on the receiving end of it. For human skin, the chemicals are known to cause swelling and blisters in mild cases, and non-permanent blindness in more severe cases. The side effects can also be so catastrophic that many countries have publicly warned their citizens not to climb, touch, or even go near the tree for any reason whatsoever. The Milky Mangrove is one of many trees that lure you in with their quirky name and 65 feet tall leaves, only to cause some serious harm and make you blind. Nature can be cruel, can't she? Number 8. Gimpy Gimpy Look, I'm not even going to try and speculate on where the name Gimpy Gimpy came from, but as always, do not be fooled by the weird and quirky name. This tree will cause some severe pain, as entomologist Marina Hurley discovered when she was studying stinging trees. Hey, everybody's gotta eat! Hurley was one of the first reported victims of the Gimpy Gimpy's brutal attack. While studying the tree as part of a James Cook University project, she was stung multiple times by this unusually aggressive tree, despite the fact that she was wearing protective clothing. Hurley's encounter with the tree initially gave her nothing more than a mild cold, with symptoms of sneezing, watery eyes, and a running nose. But soon, she was forced into the hospital, where she described the experience of being stung as like being burnt with hot acid and electrocuted at the same time. It's almost not worth studying poisonous trees, is it? Hurley eventually made a full recovery and returned to work, though her experience should be considered a warning. This tree does not play around. Even with protective clothing on, you're still very vulnerable and should probably stay well away. Number 7. Onga Onga as we've repeated time and time again, New Zealand is easily one of the most beautiful countries on the planet. But even the most beautiful places in the world are not without their own dangers. Meet the Anga Anga, or Tree Nettle, a painful little guy that many young Kiwis have had the misfortune of meeting. The Anga Anga is most known for the sharp, linear spikes found on its leaves, known as stinging hairs, for obvious reasons. Many unaware new young New Zealanders have wandered through the bush, only to bump up against one and find their exposed legs in some pain for the rest of the day. The toxin within, trifidin, contains many chemical elements that can bring out reactions like rash, itching, and inflammation. However, if you happen to stumble into a dense patch, your symptoms will likely be worse. A loss in motor movement, complete paralysis, convulsions, confusion, blurred vision, and possibly even death. There's only been one recorded human death from contact with the Onga Onga, and that was a lightly clad hunter that had the misfortune of wandering through a dense patch. Well, that's the danger of shorts. Number 6. Common You while most trees are only toxic in part, the common yew is a 100% poisonous little beast native to Great Britain. 
Ironically, the common yew is mostly found at British graveyards, where many believe they represent the immortality of the soul. It would be poetic if it wasn't so deadly. Now the edible part of a yew tree is uh, the berries. The common yew can grow up to 70 feet tall, and everything on it is poisonous except for the red flesh of the berry. However, given that the red flesh is connected to literally everything else, it almost doesn't seem worth it for a quick taste, does it? What's most frightening about this particular plant is that its poison does not actually require consumption whatsoever. Even touching the plant without gloves can pass some of the poison into your body. And those that find themselves taking a lethal dose are almost certain to die from cardiac arrest or respiratory failure, regardless of any attempt to resuscitate. Deaths from the common yew are mostly reported in animals, both domestic and wild that unknowingly or accidentally consume the plant. This has led to something of a widespread fatality rate across the country. But at least they're in the right place for it. Number 5. Deadly Nightshade Easily one of the more famous toxic plants, the deadly nightshade is an unpredictable and deadly child of nature. It's also a great cautionary tale. Do not eat things that look pretty unless you know what they are. Although, if you really need to watch a video to know that, it might be too late for you. The deadly nightshade is most recognizable thanks to its cherry-like, yet toxic fruit, the ingesting of which can cause severe health conditions like cardiovascular disease, gastrointestinal disorder, and even psychiatric conditions. But it's not just those conditions that are brutal and life-changing. The symptoms, including blurred vision, headache, confusion, hallucinations, and convulsions, to name only a few, are pretty rough on their own merits. There have sadly been many cases where humans have ingested the fruit and found their memory capacity significantly disrupted. That's if it hasn't caused death already. Man, that's a grim sentence. Unlike many toxic plants, there is actually an antidote to the poison found within deadly nightshade. However, the best way to survive an encounter with this plant is just to avoid going anywhere near it whatsoever. Number 4. Rosary Pea Plant I'll just say it. Jewelry makers are the true unsung heroes of our society. They're out there, putting their lives on the line every single day to ensure that our ensembles are brought together by a carefully crafted accessory heroes. But on the off chance you don't believe me, let's take a look at this tree. The rosary pea plant is a particularly popular tree with jewelry makers, who are especially big fans of its incredibly pretty seeds. With their unique red and black markings, these seeds make for the perfect rosary prayer beads, although anybody involved with the making of them should also be praying. These seeds contain a deadly poison known as abrin, which is only dangerous when the outer coating is broken. Many jewelry makers have found themselves hospitalized after pricking a finger on the scratched seed, thereby releasing the poison. For most people, the rosary pea plant will be relatively harmless, but for those unlucky enough to burst the shell, it can mean a god-awful trip to the hospital. The irony is that you won't have your rosary beads to pray for salvation. Number 3. Castor Beans Tree While it's understandable, and good, that most humans are unfamiliar with the full spectrum of poisons throughout our world, there is one that is more famous than all. Ricin. And the castor beans tree has a heck of a lot of ricin within it. As in, a lot. There's so much toxicity within the castor beans tree that the Guinness World Records have officially labeled it as the world's most poisonous common plant. In fact, the seeds of the castor beans tree are so packed with poison that if a human consumes over four of them, it's highly likely that they will never wake up. An overdose of ricin can cause all manner of unpleasant symptoms including seizures, bloody diarrhea, severe dehydration, and eventually death. The good news is that, with treatment, most people make a full recovery. There's always a silver lining. 
What's most intriguing is that, despite its overwhelmingly poisonous contents, the tree is most well known for producing non-toxic castor oil, a common household cooking oil used around the world. So, when life gives you poison, make oil! Number 2. Angel's Trumpet If we were giving prizes out to dangerous trees, the angel's trumpet would easily win most beautiful deadly tree. But that would be pretty insane because, well, they're trees. But while we're not crazy enough to give an award to this toxic plant, we are crazy enough to dedicate a whole section of our video to it. This plant is actually called the Brugsmansia, but it's more commonly known as the angel's trumpet due to its large, unusually shaped flowers. Unlike most toxic plants, the angel's trumpet is not a wild plant and can only be grown in cultivation, which may be a blessing because they are entirely toxic in just about every way imaginable. There is not a single part of the plant that isn't poisonous, and ingesting any of it can lead to symptoms ranging from confusion and migraine headaches to delusions, hallucinations, and death. Scientists have noted that the ingestion of the angel's trumpet can induce a powerful trance that may include temporary insanity. And to think, some people go all the way to Amsterdam for that. Because the angel's trumpet cannot be grown freely, the risk level to humans is relatively low. However, that doesn't make it any less dangerous. Next time you go to taste leaves in Amsterdam, be sure to double check where it came from. Number 1. Namibian Bottle Tree as far as appearance goes, the Namibian bottle tree looks basically nothing like your average tree. And a whole lot more like some kind of a poisonous bottle of, well, something you wouldn't want to drink. Or go near. In case it's not immediately apparent by the name, the Namibian bottle tree is native to Namibia and survives in the most arid, humid conditions on the planet. So put yourself in this tree's shoes or roots. What do you do when there's not much food and water to consume? You produce your own incredibly toxic watery mucus stuff? Of course, the latex produced by the Namibian bottle tree is so poisonous that local tribes use it often as an arrow poison to hunt local animals. Since it's rarely used on humans, there's not much known about its effects, except for one thing. If the latex comes into contact with human eyes, it can permanently blind the victim. Few people will ever encounter the Namibian bottle tree in person. But we're here to tell you that if you do happen to be unlucky enough to bump into one of these things, be careful. It might be the last thing you ever see. Have you ever seen any of these trees and lived to tell the tale? Let us know in the comments. Also, check out our other cool stuff showing up on the screen right now. See you next time.